the news indicates the WS-15 was close enough to propel the J-20, although it is unclear whether the Mighty Dragon was involved in its maiden flight. A top advisor to China's aircraft engine design program has apparently unwittingly revealed that the WS-15 specifically designed to support the PLA Air Force's most advanced stealth fighter, the J-20 completed its maiden flight this year. It's unclear whether the engine was tested on the J-20 Mighty Dragon but defense experts said that while news hinted that the powerful engine was nearing completion, it was too early to predict when it would be operational. Lu Dashang a professor at the School of Energy and Power Engineering at Beihang University formerly known as Beijing Aeronautics and Astronautics University unveiled the developments late last month, during a keynote speech at an air show in Nanchang, Jiangxi Province. Lu was the team leader for Asia's first high-altitude aircraft engine simulation trials in the 1980s and a principal advisor to the state-owned Aero Engine Corporation of China. The engine with a push-to-weight ratio of 10, developed for our country's J-20 is not operational yet, but has completed its maiden flight, he said, according to videos recorded at the three-day China Aviation Industry Conference and the Nanchang Air Show. While Lu did not identify the engine by name, the thrust-to-weight ratio similar to the U.S. most advanced Pratt & Whitney F-119 engine for the Lockheed Martin F-22 indicated it was a WS-15. State broadcaster CCTV boasted in 2017 that the performance of the WS-15 was a match for that of the F-119 engine. In a documentary that aired in May of that year, CCTV claimed the engine would be used extensively in the J-20 by 2020, a timetable for which has yet to be met. Military experts and sources said Lu's remarks indicated that the WS-15 had entered its final development stage. Aircraft engine development must go through five stages, ground test, wind tunnel test, high altitude simulation test, flight test, and then enter final small lot production for product acceptance test, said Fuki and Chow, retired PLA Air Force equipment expert. All the tests are complex and the machines must meet strict standards, he added.